So, Thrin, you were abandoned, huh? Yeah. What of it? So, is it true bandits get, you know, real friendly with the wildlife? <laughs> You're what the, the hell am I listening to? I've never heard that piece of dialogue before. What's up, my pilots? Thank you for watching. We're back playing Skyrim. I almost said Pokemon Platinum Plat <laughs> Pokemon Platinum Punchlock. Although I could have also said 007 Nightfire, since I've recorded so many videos this weekend. This will be the fifth video I've recorded this weekend. It's pretty freaking sweet, considering I'm gonna put up one a day nowadays. So in the last episode, we did some stuff. In this episode, we're gonna do some more stuff. I think we're gonna go ahead and meet Mercer Frey outside of Snow. No, we're not. We're gonna go back and speak to Amand Motiere for the Dark Brotherhood. Now we were instructed to speak with Amand by the Night Mother herself, and then we're, we we were delayed by not only Thieves Guild quest, but also by Astrid's reluctance to confer her authority onto the Night Mother. And so now we finally get the chance to spin the little pyramid of Julianos and get on with our lives going to visit it. Oh, I know that door did not just close. There's no way that somebody came out ahead of me. I would have seen their ass going up the ladder. And literally would have seen their ass going up the ladder. All right. So there, he's in Volan ruined, right? Let's go and find him. All right, what's closest? Hold the stream camp. Sounds good to me. How's everybody doing this fine Sunday evening? I've had a wonderful weekend myself. I hope you did too. It was a good weekend. I didn't have a to-do list. That's how I know when I have free time. Because when I have more than one or two things to do, I make a to-do list. And this weekend, I did not have one. So I just did whatever the heck I wanted. Which resulted in some amazing things. Uh, first and foremost, I recorded six... Actually... Yeah, well, not fifth... So this would be the fifth episode. Uh, hmm. Did I? Thought I heard something behind me. I guess I was imagining it. Ah, oh, I heard that man up over there. That's what I heard. I think. Let's shoot that guy. Oh, I missed. <laughs> what? Did I actually hit something? Did I go over his shoulder and hit something? What is? A saber cat and a mammoth over there on the landscape with no textures. But hang on, I gotta go see what's going on over here. This is hilarious. Excuse me, Mrs. Bandit. What is this? I'm pretty sure that mammoth just got in a fight with two saber cats and is now gonna kill a bandit. That's what this is looking like. Oh god, I should not have gotten involved. That's what this is looking like to me. I guess when they said my arrows could stagger all but the largest foes, they were thinking of mammoths when they said largest foes. Matter now. This, <laughs> if I were this bandit, I would just run away. I just killed a mammoth with arrows. You think that you're gonna be able to stand up to this shit? Where'd you go, sir, ma'am? Excuse me. So sorry. It's so embarrassing when you call them by the wrong gender. That happened today in Ponchlock. Oh man, who's shooting at me? A, a dragon? Man, what is it? I start a video and everybody tries to kill me. I don't get it, man. All right, let's go kill the dragon. Here, dragon, 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 dragon. Do I have my? Dragon wrench out. I sure do. Hey, buddy. That wasn't even close. I overcorrected. Oh well. Yeah, so yesterday I recorded six episodes of 007 Nightfire, and then I made a punch lock video today. Oh, it's a regular dragon. This one's a oh, It's a regular dragon. What is he fighting a giant? I'm gonna cut the giant. Dra oh, I hit the dragon on the, sh on the wing. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh no. Oh no. You missed me, sir. Oh, whoa. Did you see where that arrow went? Did I hit him in the back of the head with that arrow? Oh, no. <laughs> that, <laughs> that might be the most exciting way I've ever died in Skyrim. That The last two minutes have been remarkably memorable. That is a beautiful beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday I recorded six episodes of 007 Nightfire, finished the LP in a marathon session, which was very satisfying, and uh, then this morning I made a delicious Ponchlog episode, in which I fought a gym leader. That's always exciting. I won't spoil how that ended, but uh, you know, I'm pretty good at this game now, so 
hopefully things are going well in that that punch lock. You never can tell with a nuzlocke run. Things can go really bad really fast. Look at how thin that sword is. Yeah, so we're trying to get the Volan root here. Uh, I guess the <laughs> the wildlife, uh, which would be saber cats. I mean, how crazy is that? We spawn in, the bandits are back. We get saber cats, a mammoth, a giant, and a dragon. Five different kinds of enemies are all around here right now. And I'm going to do the exact same thing I did last time, except I can't draw my bow. Excuse me? What is... Sorry. Um, oh, there we go. Apparently it thought I was blocking. That's weird. <laughs> he turns around and gets killed. That's hilarious. Should I kill the... Oh. What? Oh, my perspective was all off. I thought he was a giant. What the heck? See, now I already know I have dragon rend out. I got the advantage on this dragon. Where are you going? Mr. Dragon, don't fly away now. Come back here, sir. Sir or madam. It's so embarrassing we can't tell what gender a dragon is. They do have gender, right? I'm just guessing here. I wonder if I can get the dragon in the mammoth to fight. That's always fun. Yep, look at they're going at it. Sweet. Who should I hit? Oh, yeah, I got him. Sweet. I'm gonna go after the dragon since he's gonna probably kill the mammoth anyway. Once he lands at least. Here we go. Blood dragon. Oh, he's tougher than last time. Hopefully the, the mammoth will distract him. Yes, that seems to be the case. Nope, he's turning around. Okay. Alright, buddy, you wanna do that? Well, I don't wanna do that. I don't have any cover out here. I got, ooh. You're up already, huh? Oh, I missed. Right over his shoulder. This could end badly. I'm gonna kind of meander toward Volenrude. I really don't need to kill a mammoth or saber cats. The dragon is just gonna harass me if I don't get rid of him. Actually, maybe he'll go chill if I green dragon run him always far away from me. Let's just escape, shall we? Go talk to somebody in Volenrude. I don't want to get distracted and spend 20 minutes fighting a dragon when that's not what we're here for. We get plenty of dragon souls throughout the various quests. And just wandering around, I don't need to stop and spend time on it. Is that a chest right there? Yes, it is. Covered in snow. So the most exciting thing that happened this weekend is that I got a whole lot of work done on my ROM. No actual in-game stuff, but a lot of pre-planning is being figured out, which is a very important stage if you know anything about development. So I'm figuring things out, figuring out what I want to do, and I also, uh, I also discovered a really cool thing on YouTube, which actually happened back in January. It was a speedrunning, uh, I don't even know what the word for it is, fundraiser? Yeah. Hedix Volenrude Notes. I'm going to take these, but not read them. Hello, sir. You look like you're going to be a weekend if I step one more time. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot you with an arrow. That works for me. All right, let's continue. All right, I think Armand is in here. So let's see what he's up to, and I'll finish my story. Hello, good sir. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. I don't see any black sacrament around here, but okay, cool. Is that Imperial over there? I don't really like Imperials, sir. The Night Mother heard your pleas, Motier. You've opened the door to darkness, little man. Oh, I know, I know. But I'm so glad you're here. Oh, Please, cool. allow me to state my business. Surely your time is as valuable as my own. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say the most important work your organization has had in, well, centuries. That's offensive and true. Please continue. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. Ooh. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. Who's that? The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of... Who? The Emperor. Dun dun dun! Yeah, I can do that. Leaders rise and fall. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Business is business, etc., etc. The people in the apartment below me just dropped something heavy. Oh, wonderful. You don't know how happy I am to hear you say that. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. It's as if the very stars have finally aligned. Mm, so but I digress. Now. 
Here, take these to your superior. Rexus, the items. He did not just clap with his mouth. That is nasty. Rexus. Why don't you just name the guy Hard Dick? <laughs> Hard Dick. Here. Erectious. Here. The here, 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 here. Explain Thank you. everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Here, here. How much is this amulet worth? Somehow I doubt it's worth enough to really be paying for any and all expenses. One thousand gold? That is a nice amulet. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to Astrid about this. You better not be trying to screw me, sir. I don't... Oh, there's your sacrament. Okay, let's just go ahead and leave. Man, even as a Dark Brotherhood member, that sacrament's still a nasty, nasty ritual. I mean, there's a difference between killing somebody and playing around with the dead parts. That's just kind of... It's kind of crossing a line, you know? It's like the people who are the, really the darkest are the ones who summon the Dark Brotherhood. The Brotherhood members themselves who perform the assassinations are m more of a tool. Whereas the, those who summon them are the, the evil impetus behind that act. That, the act that empowers the tool to do dirty, dirty deeds. Done dirt cheap. Actually, it's done quite expensively if you're dealing in jeweled amulets. So I discovered this cool thing online. It actually happened back in January, and I believe it happens in January of every year. So you can be sure I'll be making a big uh, brouhaha about it in uh, January when it comes around in 2014. But it is uh, basically a speed-running marathon to raise money for cancer research. It's very cool. In 2013, it was called Awesome Games Done Quick. Please, please, please do yourself a favor and, the, and do uh, cancer research a favor and look up Awesome Games Done Quick on YouTube or on Twitch TV. And you can find a whole bunch of recordings of the speed run that they did back in January of 2013. And I think that they've done it at least a few years now. But uh, in January of 2013, uh, during, I think, what was a several, if not many, day-long speed run, I think it was like a week long, I'm not sure exactly, they raised um, something on the order of half a million dollars. So it's just ridiculous. And they, I'm stopping to actually talk about this because it's important. But, uh, and they also showed some really skilled speed runners that, sh that just made some stu stupendous runs. You want to see Ocarina of Time beaten in 25 minutes? Go check it out. You're back. Good. All right, so, did you meet this motier? What did he want? He wants us to kill the Emperor! Dun-dun-dun! I already did that. You're joking. I don't have a sense of humor. Who says that? I don't have a sense of... I can't recall what character says that. Show Astrid the amulet and sealed letter. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to just do that. <laughs> it's like I'm reading a script and I'm reading the cues. What's this? The letter explains it all. The amulet is for expensive. Can you please talk for a while so I can take a drink of my water? By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. But we, but we did it before? As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim. And that was 200 years ago. I guess it is a long time for Emperors to not be assassinated. Surely the Night Mother wouldn't, Mr. Rectus. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I am important. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. But what we now have before us... Is pretty cool. Can I do it? Please, can I do it? <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. Hoorah! You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? Our family, but sure. But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. I didn't even try to read it. And this amulet. Hmm. 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 What are you thinking? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. I know him. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the rat way in Riften. Not a private operator. Give guy. me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. 
Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... Uh -huh, history. He can be trusted. Ah, I bet you he performed the Dark... or the Black Sacrament. That's the only thing that you really could do that would make you more afraid to talk about the Dark Brotherhood than you are of the Dark Brotherhood. So, yeah. Being involved in the ritual yourself, I think, is just about uh, going to incur the same penalty as actually killing somebody. Although, that's, that seems to be the state in other games in the Elder Scrolls series, but in Skyrim, no one in Windhelm seems to take much action to stop uh, the young boy performing the Dark uh, Ritual, but I don't know what... What was his name? I can't remember his name. He's the one who gave us the fancy plate. I've already forgotten who it was. Wow, that's embarrassing. You know, the orphan kid. We had to kill Grey a lot and all that. But anyway, he, he's performing the Black Sacrament, and everybody knows it. People are talking about it. It's it's in the, you know, heard any good rumors lately category of speech with random NPCs. So the whole town knows. And yet the guards are, you know... Uh, Good Samaritans or anybody, they, they nobody steps in to, to do anything about it. So I assume it must just be because he's a kid, or maybe times have changed and the Dark Brotherhood is taken so much less seriously that people performing the Black Sacrament are just kind of left alone. Although necromancers are certainly unwelcome in Skyrim, you would think people who played with dead body parts to perform the Black Sacrament would be looked down upon and would you know with evil disgust. Apparently that's not the case. Who knows? Does anybody really know what time it is? Does anybody really care? You know, that song by Chicago is, is actually it's supposed to be some philosophical number, but to me it just sounds like a dick taking a walk in the park. It's just like, I was walking, or not in the park, but that's another song, but uh, so the lyrics go, I was walking down the street one day, and a man came up to me to ask me what the time was that I had there on my watch, and I said, does anybody really know what time it is? Like, can you imagine someone said that to you, you'd be like, man, tell me what time it is right now. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? These are not the right quest lines, dialogue options. I know what I'm doing. Lying to my face isn't going to win you any favors with me. I can promise you that. I'm not going to lie to your ass, that's what you want. On the other end, taking some of these extra jobs off my hands. Now, that'll get you to the top of my list. I ain't doing your dirty work. Uh, Alright, give me some See, advice. That kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. Dark Brotherhood. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. I could not be more uninterested. Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. I thought it was supposed to be shady. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. I like skeevers. What's happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. Yeah, yeah, right. A curse? What, what could we possibly do about that? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around, Daddy. You're such an idiot. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Something tells me you haven't smelled like a rose in years. Yeah, so, this guy's so dumb. If it was some supernatural thing, like uh, one of the gods that was pissed at them, and they were cursed, Spitting in their face and trying to repel the curse by their own means would be like the worst thing you could do. It would just make whatever it was more angry. Dot dot dot. Something you need? Anything for the guild. Dark Brotherhood. Actually, I'm here on Dark Brotherhood business. Wink wink, nudge nudge, if you know what I mean. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, you're making friends all over. Ain't ya? Was that? So, uh, how is Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, hey guys. but hmm. business, of course. What kind of business? You know what kind. What can you tell me about this shiny trinket? Let's see. 
Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member who have a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. What? Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood its business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe... Interrupting you, I say, will you buy it? Buy it? This? An Elder Council amulet? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. I love the Thieves Guild. Oh, wait. Just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. Is that nasty? You bring that back to your lovely mistress. I think it's nasty. With my regards. Ugh. You're a nasty so man, sir. Alrighty then, let's go and show... Actually, let's report back to Astrid. That's what we're supposed to do, so let's do that. I really hope we can get some more quests from Nazir soon. I want to kill random NPCs. That's half the fun of this quest line. I mean, the big overarching stuff is fun, but... Nothing's more satisfying than sinking an arrow into someone's back and laughing maniacally as you slink away into the darkness. Except perhaps bashing their head in with a giant hammer, that's also fun. But, not exactly the modus operandi of this character. Alrighty then, back up that ladder we go. Ten bucks says the door will be just closing as we come out. Is that Malakath? Who is this guy? Oh, if that really is Malakath, I've watched these loading screens one too many times that I can recognize which statuettes are for which Daedra. That's just bad. That's a big sword he's got there. Is he holding it by the blade? Yo, someone just closed the door! Man, it's bad luck! It's like when you're walking <laughs> to a revolving door, and you walk up to, the, like, the left side of the door, and then somebody on the outside walks up to that same side of the door, and it's like, okay, there's no way we can both go through the same side. We're gonna be pushing the door in opposite directions. It's like, it's like that awkward moment when you're in a hallway, and you can either go left, like step left or step right to go around somebody, and you step left and they step right, and so you both go the same direction, and then you both do it again, and it's like, oh man! That's even worse when it happens in a revolving door. Because you both go left, and then, like, one of you has to take, like, a ten-second maneuver to turn around, get out of the way, and go the other way through the door. Because it's just... <laughs> it's just ridiculous. If you both try and go the same way, you really, there's just no way around it. I feel like when that happens to me in a hallway, most of the time, if, if I go the same direction as somebody the first time, like, if I'm walking up to someone, and we both step the same way, I'll just stand there. I won't step the other way, because I know that's what they're going to do. So I just stand there. And sometimes I look at them, and usually it's, it's fine. And I'll just kind of look at them, and they'll move, and then we'll both go on our way. But when I come across someone who, implies, uh, who applies the same strategy, we both step to the side, and then we both stare at each other. It's like the Mexican standoff in the episode of Samurai Jack with the Scotchman and the bridge. Good. You're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? This amulet was specifically made for a member of the Elder Council. The Elder Council? Shh! Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Quite so. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? He gave me this line of credit, whatever the hell that's worth. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. I'm big bad. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Aww, a wedding? Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Brown chicken, oh, brown yes. Cow. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. How inviting. And they say romance is dead. Romance. Alrighty, so who's the target? You know what? I think we've already met the target. Hmm? Oh, convenient how they throw that in, isn't it? One of the few times I've been impressed with NPC random dialogue. 
Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Ooh, make it public. Now go, and give my best to the bride. Your best what? An arrow? Do you have an arrow? I could use an arrow. Like a sanguine rose, for example. <sighs> Who is this Vici woman, and how is she connected to the Emperor? An excellent question. Which I will ask in the next video. Victoria it's relevant right now. So, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Skyrim. Because we got a new quest here. I'll get the details next time. But I, uh, I think... Uh, what do I want to do next? Man, do I not get any more quests from Nazir? Let me go talk to him real quick. Let's see, let's go around this way. See what he's up to. Hello, sir. How are you today? Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? What you got? What you got? There are indeed three, to be exact. For the next video. Deacus, a shipwreck scavenger. Mirandrew Joe, a traveling caravan. Mirandrew Joe. And Anoriath, a hunter. Cool. They sound fun. I'm going to take on the three of these people in the next episode of Let's Play Skyrim. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys then.